Tide 1, who calls them into short diamond. Reaching 6,000 feet, you see the jets collapse to around six feet away from each other. They form the short diamond shape a mile above our heads, slowing down to 150 miles an hour. The team leader, but one sport leader, David Montenegro, is in his first year leading the team. He's a former Hawk flying instructor and Tornado F3 air defense pilot. He first joined the Red Arrows back in 2009, flying until 2011, leaving as the leader of the Synchro pair. Four, five, eight, nine, now acknowledge another move. You'll see Reds 8 and 9 move to the extremities and from Red 9's left wing tip through to Red 8's right wing tip. This formation measures 100 metres or 300 oh, feet yeah. wide. Now we're going to see some very patriotic red, white and blue, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a huge round of applause as we show you Phoenix. to fly the Chevron roll. side are the odd numbered pilots and on the right hand side are the even numbered pilots in their three years with the team the pilots will start at the front near the league Emmett Cox Cox is actually from New Zealand but he moved to the UK in 2002 to join the Royal Air Force becoming a tornado pilot front left now the smoke's on as we form a new shape you heard Peter mention it it's the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain now we put this shape in the display this year to honour all of those who took part in the Battle of Britain back in the summer of 1914. Coming in from the left now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spitfire. The summer of 1940 it wasn't just the fighter pilots or the few who worked hard to secure our skies. Everybody in the Royal Air Force had their own part to play, whether they were air crew, ground crew, plotters, armourers, administrators, air traffic controllers, everybody did their own bit to ensure our skies were secure. And today, the Royal Air Force is no different. We operate on the whole force concept, relying on regulars, reservists, civil servants and contractors throughout a variety of trades and branches to ensure the Royal Air Force delivers its output. Now into the left, camera's ready. Here's our trademark, it's Diamond. Typhoon, the Eurofighter Typhoon, which is the Royal Air Force's newest advanced multi-role combat aircraft. In fact, you'll see it display here to close the show this afternoon. 
Well, Tom's primary role on the Typhoon was exactly what I've just been talking about, securing the skies. The Royal Air Force's Typhoon Force is at readiness 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, ensuring that the skies of the UK and the Falkland Islands are in fact secure. Well now over to the right, a white diamond is formed as we get ready for a new manoeuvre for 2015. It's the Whirlwind. essentially just a full left-hand control column input which rolls the aircraft rapidly around its longitudinal axis. The key to the whirlwind is getting all nine jets doing it at exactly the same time. Now looking front left, you'll see the smoke on as we go from a very wide, loose diamond shape into a much tighter shape. This time, for the platform of a former American very fast spy plane which was known as the SR-71. The smoke's about to go off, and you can see that shape developing. Back in the Cold War, the SR-71 was formerly known as the Blackbird, and that's the shape the boys have formed, looking out to the front left, 45, descending, ready to fly the Blackbird loop. an hour. And as they get towards the vertical now, you'll see another shape change. Reds 4 and 5 move forward, Reds 8 and 9 tuck in, and as the jets now reach 6,000 feet, they slow down to about 150 miles an hour. And not only are the controls less responsive, so the pilots work hard to maintain formation, they're actually forming a new formation. You can see now the shape of feathered arrow, which we shorten to red. Right, you see now Enid 
it climbing very steeply with a red, white and blue stripe to the left. Looking directly ahead now to find the synchro pair. Tight rolls to the outside in the rollbacks. 